My name is Dr. Richard Golden. I am the inventor of the physics forceps. Throughout this video, many doctors, besides myself, will tell you how wonderful these instruments are and show you how they can be used. Each doctor is a little different in their procedures, but it's all based on the same technique. I want to thank you very much for your interest, and I hope that you purchase the set. I guarantee you'll be 100% satisfied. Good morning, Dr. Kaczynski again, and today we're going to demonstrate the use of the Golden Dental Solutions Physics Forceps on a full mouth uh, extraction case. In a few moments you'll see that um, the teeth are badly broken down and we'll evaluate the, the use of the Physics Forceps, which I feel are very, very innovative. And uh, as I mentioned in many of the videos, maintaining the buccal plate or buccal bone is really gold for us. Our patient today uh, will we will deliver a, a full upper maxillary immediate denture and a lower immediate partial denture. We're going to remain, uh, keep a few of his teeth, but I think this will uh, really uh, show us how to use the tools correctly. And as we've talked about in the past, um, the physics forcep is, is rather unique. And if we can just show the, the forcep there. We'll do the lower ones first. The, the standard set uh, consists of four instruments. The lower universal, and we'll take the lower teeth out first, and then there's an upper right, upper left, and an upper anterior. There's also a 400 series which are used primarily for the posterior max, maxilla and mandible, and we'll demonstrate those when we get to the other side of the, of the mouth. Uh, we've sedated our patient today, so if you hear a little snoring, you'll, you'll understand what that's all about. So with all the forceps, we have a what we call a beak, which is a flattened end that will engage the lingual or palatal, palatal aspect of the tooth. Then what we have is called the bumper, and this is just a little silicone piece that is easily um, removed and, and replaced as we need it. And it's just kind of comfort towards the, uh, the tissue. The bumper will be placed as high up or down the vestibule as possible by the mucogingival line angle. Um, so let's go ahead and demonstrate the use of the physics forceps. So another question that we often have is what do I mean by rotation of my wrist? We're going to take out a, um, a third molar, a number 17 tooth. We're going to use the 400 series. The reason we use the 400 series is because of the shallow vestibule in that area. The, 300, the 400 series, excuse me, is, is nearly identical to the standard series. It has a beak and a bumper area, and you can see the bumpers are yellow. The design is a little bit different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage the tooth um, on the palatal, and I'm going to probably hold my hands like this, and I'm going to rotate my wrist. No forearm pressure, no forearm pressure, no bicep pressure. I'm just rotating my wrist. Now this time I'm rotating my wrist, I guess, towards the, the cheek or towards the vestibule. And I'm exaggerating this movement, obviously. That tooth just popped right out. Getting that, Jess? Yep. Now, if that's not magic, nothing is. That's a wisdom tooth way back there, shallow vestibule. This is the instrument to use, the 400 series. And I'll hold it here. You can see how decayed that buckle was. Magic very much for your interest in learning about the physics forceps. Not only are they fantastic and they work atraumatically, we are offering you a 90 day money back guarantee. Use them for 90 days. If you're not 100% satisfied, send them back and we will happily refund your money.
For more information and to watch several more clinical videos, please visit physicsforceps.com or call 1-877-987-2284.